this is Death Stranding on PlayStation 4. We are on the base PlayStation 4 console. And while I'm still chugging along, working towards a review, I thought I'd do a little bit of a preview, a little bit of a discussion about the game, some initial thoughts from uh, a few hours of playing this. So in the game, you play as uh, Norman Reedus, basically, uh, but you are a special type of character. You are a delivery man for the U.S. government. You are literally, I think they call it USPS there. That's your job and your function. It is interesting. Um, so the game, in my opinion, is incredibly boring and very pretentious. Uh, that being said, I really intrigued by the narrative element of it. So, if you've noticed in other reviews, or if you've seen anything else I've done, um, I really like narrative-driven games. I absolutely love them, like Life is Strange, or even action games like Tomb Raider and stuff. I, I love the story elements of games. They really, to me, are interesting. And I actually enjoy things that are more cinematic-driven than, I'd say, a regular gamer would. This game is largely just stories, and then you get this incredibly boring gameplay where you're just walking around doing nothing. I mean, you're carrying all this gear, like, look at all the crap he's got in his back. It's kind of funny looking, uh, just because, mechanic-wise, I think it's just sort of hilarious. But I also quite like what they've done with some of the mechanics. Okay, so at times you're like carrying corpses and stuff and it's a pain in the ass and you're seeing how I'm like trying to juggle my weight and you'll like sometimes you constantly have to be juggling back and forth. And then you've got like this baby and it cries and it whines and you can hear it on the controller and I know you can turn that off and stuff but still like, it's part of the experience so I leave it on uh, the controller sounds but it's just like I, I don't know it, it's weird. I like some of the ideas it presents. I think the game is absolutely just gorgeous. Like, the character details are remarkable. We're not in the cutscene right now, but even then, like, oh, there the baby's coming out. Like, just the little details in the environment really do feel like a next-gen sort of experience. Just, the, like, the geometry, the texturing, the world. The character is, like, how his skin reacts. Like, it's like, you know, I don't know if rashes is quite word, the right word to say. Like, a bit of an allergy type of a situation. Uh, I'm trying to be spoiler free in regards to anything I'm talking here but it's also weird and I I like ideas in this but I don't want this to be like a staple for where games should go I think story wise it's super intriguing I love the, the idea of the world they've created I'm really looking forward to seeing where things are going I think it's going to be a, a bit predictable in my opinion I have some ideas already I've tried to read nothing into this game uh, and watch as little as possible beforehand just because I want something that is uh, fresh for me coming into this. And you actually have to like, kind of hold yourself or you'll get like taken by the water and like turtle out and stuff which is just silly but yeah I tried to just come into this with like an absolute fresh sort of perspective and stuff and it's just mind-numbingly boring. <laughs> it's uh, like I well, during the cutscenes, I know they're going to take a while, so I just put the controller down and I kind of work on other things. That's not to say I'm, I'm not paying attention, I'm just like, you know, some of them go on for a long time. So this is one really interesting element of play. I didn't put this here, but it's got like a sort of uh, online connection with other people. You can interact with things to a degree. They can place things and structures and stuff. It's very interesting, and you can build stuff too. So as you saw over there... I built a watchtower and you can build other things. It's kind of interesting in that regard, like ropes and stuff, and that helps you traverse this very open, empty kind of world. Now you can get vehicles, you have to get like a charger and whatever, and you have to work and do all this stuff to get there. So it's, it's a very tedious sort of slow game, which is interesting because I think this might actually be really appealing for a certain type of player. To me, I find this insanely numbing. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to take, but I'm going to push through as best as I can because the story is just so bizarre. I've never really played a game with such a such a sense of mystery, if that makes sense. Like, it's so weird, and they kind of explain things. But then there's other strange things. It's like I've taken a shower three times, as, as Norman Reed is here. <laughs> three times. Like, it encourages you to take a shower in order to, like, 
progress in certain ways, which is so weird to me. And then it's, you're you're drinking monster energy, you, like literally monster energy there. I don't know if I can swap over, but yeah, to refuel like your stamina, you stay hydrated by drinking monster energy and then there's like monster energy cans in your little tiny like room that you get to go to uh yeah, this is so weird and then there's like mass people and then there's gooey things i really like the sense of like fear with the creatures that you're with there's like pools of black stuff and they kind of like try to like suck you into this weird other world and then i guess rain now has a property where time goes quickly by or something which is weird uh, and they fill in a lot of the blanks as you keep playing but it takes so long to get places I think the game's got a bit of an issue with pacing in my opinion now I've, I've heard that it does get a lot more fun uh, later on in regards to the gameplay but it's, it's so right now it's just like so tiring just to like do things in the beginning you have to go all the way to this like body disposal unit and then it's like once you get there you have to walk all the way back and it's like it seems like they're just trying to maximize and pad out time which is not really needed i get that they're trying to maybe add extra value but it's just it's weird i you're basically like just being scored and for no reason there's no real reason behind the scoring other than for you to know how well of a the UPS guy you are, or FedEx, or whatever you want to call yourself, which I think in the U.S. again is, is USPS. I'm gonna have to correct me on that because you know I'm not I'm Canadian, so we we have a different main postal for our government. But that's what you do. Thank God they have a skipping talking with people kind of thing. But see, this is what you do: you, you deliver parts, and you get like a connection level, and you're just trying to connect to the United States, which I guess is far tinier of a landmass than I would have ever anticipated. But it, it's a game, so I mean, they can only do so much. But they do actually create really large worlds and stuff like that. It's just massive, the scale of this thing. Yeah, so you actually have to have extra shoes. What is this, Daisy? <laughs> but it's just like, it's so strange. I wish it just like actually auto-skip, because I can't auto-skip on. As your connection level increases, you get to do all this other stuff. And I don't think there's anything spoilerish here. You're just kind of like, you know, I'm just on a delivery mission, which is thrilling. See, he's got a bike. Why can't I just have that? Apparently, I got to do a whole solar farm thing and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yay, now I can print more objects in order to do more stuff. But you literally, you're just going like facility, facility, talking to holograms. And then Willem del Toro is in there as like a weird doctor guy, and then there's this guy that wears a black black mask. And I guess you like there's some family ties. And, well, there definitely is some family ties, but I don't want to talk about that too much. And it's just like it's very weird that this is the type of game. Like the 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 lead on this, uh, Hideo Kojima, I saw his name like 15 times in the first hour. It was absolutely ridiculous. He's very full of himself. I'm not making like, I'm not being like mean or anything like that, but it's like, jeez, you know, it's just a little, little over the top there. So you can see like the building stuff, you can build a number of different tools and things like that. It's, it's, uh, it's very interesting to fabricate the equipment. And that, that's really what kind of, uh, you know, really entices me into this is the fact that I'm like, I want to know where it's going. And this is a weird system too, but I kind of like it because it, you get to really pick where things go. Attached to the boot clip sounds good. And you can auto arrange things and you can just get an idea of like this guy just carrying a lot of luggage. You're just a carrying guy. And then people have like the nerve to complain when you like damage something on your way there. Like I get that people want packages delivered, but in this future, you literally like there's monsters and things coming out of the ground and while there's monsters i don't know why anyone would want to go outside and stuff deaths are like the worst thing in the world in this universe it seems like but also there's like bad factions out there too and i'm like what? why would you be a bad person in this area if you like attack someone or something like that bad stuff happens to like everyone in the massive vicinity of where you are 
you get a sense of that when you actually play the game at the beginning because it really goes into that but this is like the the waiting room and you can legitimately see the monster energy like i don't even it, it's so perfectly modeled into the game it's unreal i can't believe this is an actual thing in a video game like i thought this was a joke you're legitimately drinking monster energy as a way to stay hydrated and refuel. I could see like maybe Gatorade or that's even stretching it, but like monster. I guess these guys don't really care much about their lifespan or something because that's just not healthy, especially as like a rehydrating thing. <sighs> and then you got your creepy baby there and there's the shower. So you're like constantly told to take a shower, which is weird, but I don't think I want to show it because I'm assuming there's some monetization issues with doing that. What a weird game. And now we have to go to another distribution center. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Death Stranding so far. I'm still playing it before I make up my final mind on things, but that's how I'm feeling at this current point. Really bored. I feel like the game's a little pretentious in what it has. It's just kind of like long, interesting story segments that aren't actual gameplay, bridged together by boring, tedious walks along the country that hopefully get a little bit better as vehicles and stuff arrive. I don't know. It's just a very weird situation. So we have to go collect crystals too. The, all the stranding things are there. Ugh. 